In this video, I will be showing you how to set up the reseller system so that your resellers can purchase more keys so that they can generate and assign to different users. I will be doing this in the Sell app um, as well as Sellix. I'll first be starting with Sell app. If you want to skip ahead to Sellix, if you're using that, you can go down to the chapters below and select Sellix. But the first thing that you want to do, of course, is create a new reseller. I already have one created. Um, all the balance is set to zero and everything is set there. And I'm already logged in to the reseller account just so I can show you that the balance does increase. Once you have that, you're going to go to app and then app settings. And then you're going to go to the reseller tab. You're going to go down and this is where we will insert all of our sell app stuff. So if we go to sell app, we're going to go to products and then product and then create a new product. In the title, we're going to do day reseller keys. And if you want, you can use week, month, or lifetime. Just make sure that it is in this format. So keep reseller keys. And then of course your change day. I'll just do test for the description. The pricing, I'll just keep to zero. For the digital items, make sure that it is a dynamic product. And then we're going to go back to Kiosk. We're going to copy this link right here, reseller webhook link, and then just go ahead and paste that in there. And then for the checkout info, we're going to just type in username with all lowercase and select text and then make sure it's required and then just click on add. And then we're just gonna go ahead and save it. Now that we have that, we're going to click on the three little dots and click on show. And we're going to copy this link, go back to our dashboard, and paste the link in here. And then we're going to go back to the link, click on buy now. Where the username field is, just click it, right click, go to inspect. And then you will see here name additional information equals. So we're just going to copy the number after the additional information. And then we're just going to type additional equals and then put the number in there and then you put an equal sign right after the actual number and then go back to sell up go to down here at the bottom left click on the three dots store settings click on developers and then generate a webhook secret just go ahead and generate it make sure you copy it and then make sure you press save as well after you saved it go back to sell up i mean um the dashboard for the sell up session and then you can just go ahead and press update app settings once you have that go to the reseller account and then you can click on purchase with sell up click on buy now then the name of the reseller which is for my case networking reseller going to continue going to accept click on free or whatever the thing is for you this has been sent so if i go over here you will see that my balance is now increased from zero to one and that's pretty much all that you have to do for sell up so now going into sellix I'm going to remove all this and we're going to save it. And now I'm going to go to Celix products. I'm going to create a product. And then this is the same scenario for sell up. Um, so of course you choose day, week, month, or lifetime. I would do day reseller keys. The description would just be test. The pricing I will set to zero. For the product, make sure that you click on service, not dynamic. And then I will just put test for the service info. Then we're going to go down to additional details. Come all the way down here to custom fields. Select text, and then the field name will be username. And of course, this will be required. Click on save and then create a product. 
Once you've done that, copy the ID that it's generated, go back to the key dashboard, and just paste in the day product or whatever product that you created. And then we're going to go back to Celix. And we are going to go down to settings, general, and then you will see a webhook secret here. We're just going to go ahead and copy the webhook secret, go back to our dashboard, and then paste the webhook secret there. And then we can uh, just update the app settings, go back to the reseller, and then copy this reseller webhook link, go back to Celix, close out of this, click on developers, and then click on webhooks, create a webhook, make sure that the type is selected to Celix, paste the webhook in there, and then we're just going to click on order paid, and then add the webhook endpoint. And then go back to the reseller page. If we refresh it, you will now see that it is Celix instead of sell app. We go ahead and click it. It will load, continue. Uh, the email and notice that it's not asking for a username because the username is being automatically grabbed uh, from the actual site since this is more of an embed rather than a redirect to a different site so we'll just do test at com and then you will see the payment was successful and now if i refresh you see that the balance just increased from one to two if you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. I feel like this is pretty straightforward, but some people may get a little lost or have, you know, a little bit harder time than others. But again, just comment down below if you have any issues with anything, and I will respond back when I get the chance. Thanks for watching.